oh, how could you celebrate Black Friday? Because Black Friday means a different thing here in Melbourne yeah. because of the fire. Yeah. That's schmucks. Okay. It doesn't mean that. First of all, <laughs> you know, and I put uh, somebody had something on uh, one of the Facebook things. And I said, you can't have Black Friday without having Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's right. All right. So get lost. <laughs> okay. Right. And it's so, true. Yeah. Black Friday was the traditional shopping day in the U.S. Yes, to get, put you into the black. Good day, you all, and welcome to episode 62, Christmas Gift Ideas. And happy Christmas month, Phil. Happy Christmas month. Well, it's all Christmas, yeah, all day long. When did you decorate when you were back home? Um, it'd be the it'd be after Thanksgiving. Yeah, I know that, but, but it was closer to Christmas. Yeah, it wasn't like right after Thanksgiving. It was yeah, my friend would my friends had her tree up for two weeks. Yeah, I I thought two weeks was fine, like a week and a half before Christmas, because otherwise, then by the time Christmas comes, you're any tired of it. Yeah, and it's dusty, and you have yeah. to. Yeah, no, I yeah. I think. If a- if our daughter Ainsley, Brenda, my daughter, had her way, mm-hmm. it would be decorated six months of the year in Christmas. Okay. So luckily, we get a real tree still, mm-hmm. so I can we can put her off a little bit because you want to wait to get the tree, so it does it's not a fire hazard. Yeah, like the when day. I go to Phil's house, sometimes like around this time of year or even mm-hmm. earlier, it's I, I go, boy, all these people got Christmas lights up already, but no, they got it up for the last year. No, for um. <laughs> The Indian holiday of oh, color. Yes. I forgot the da- name of Dala, that. Dala, Dala, something like that. Sorry if I'm mispronouncing <laughs> it. But so they decorate a lot. Of, a lot of people decorate the house because it's a fest- festival of color. Oh, wow. And they put Christmas lights up. Oh, I love Christmas lights. I think Christmas lights should be allowed all the time outside. Yeah. But unfortunately, it gets dark too late here to really enjoy them. You know, you get away for 9, 10 o'clock and the kids... And they're all they're cranky, yeah. And yeah. when they're little, that's when it's magical. Mm-hmm. Right. Anyway, now how is it? How is your Thanksgiving? Uh, filling. <laughs> yeah. Filling. Yes. Yeah, a lot of yeah, you know, just a, a lot, and like everyone else, shuffling through like uh, shortages of uh, what we don't have and what we do have. Yes. But you know, you make good, and yeah. uh, but that's I was just at Costco, and guess what? They don't have my favorite product. What? <laughs> Those big jars of mayonnaise. <laughs> So they, they, and they never had, uh, you know, pumpkin no. before Christmas either. No. So I don't feel bad. Yeah. We try. I do say, I do let people know there is a global pumpkin shortage. No, well, there's a global shipping problem. That's well, the biggest the, thing. Yes. So that was actually, I felt it was from the New York Times. There's a whole article on the global pumpkin shortage. Shortage. Does, uh, well, the weather was bad. Snow and, the and wed- Charlie wed- Brown know about this? <laughs> yeah. The great pumpkin. Um, the weather was bad. In Indiana, it yeah. wasn't good for the growing season, and then we've got all the things that were wrecked because of n- not being able to ship and do all those things. So, speaking of uh, Indiana and where the pumpkins grow, yes, you know where the most turkeys are, are grown? Indi- what state? Indiana. Nope. Where? Minnesota. Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a little trivia for you. I, I didn't know that till last night. Well, in where in Northern California. In the town of Lodi, mm-hmm. there are wild turkeys that wander around and they take over a street there. It's huh. like everyone kind of gets out, like, let the turkeys pass. Oh, it's, it's like South Park. <laughs> 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 but, you know, like with, last time I was in Kansas down in Fort Scott, you know, such mm-hmm. a bustling area. You know, there was a lot of wild turkeys all over the place. And even when we dro- were driving through Tennessee and they weren't even bottled, you know. <laughs> 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 uh, yes, okay. and then so we move on. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so enough about the turkeys. That's right. Okay. Oh wait, hang on, Sarah, Sarah, uh, Palin. Palin. Did you do you remember the Sarah Sarah Palin oh. interview? Oh, well, she couldn't see Russia from her back porch. No, no, no. no. They're interviewing her, yeah. right? <laughs> and she's at a turkey farm. <laughs> And the place they picked to interview her at, right behind her, there's a guy. Oh, slaughtering them? Mm-hmm. Well, I was going to say making them ex turkeys, but yes, yeah. that would be the term. No, still but, turkey and he's this. smiling at the camera, just going, next, <laughs> next. <laughs> next. 
<laughs> what are good old boys? And yeah. You can find it on YouTube, but we won't put the link to that because oh, okay. no. no. Yeah, we can find it. <laughs> now, today's show, um, this was a good thing. We talked about it uh, a little while back because we try not to make the podcast a yeah. product. Push. No, and that's not the intention. No. We're not here to, we're here to educate and have fun and have a little bit of laugh and giggles and bring back memories for everybody. That's exactly right. Yeah. So now we're going to give you some Christmas ideas. Now, some things might involve things that we sell, yeah. but that's not the point of it. The point of it is just sometimes you have a whole bunch of people, you say, I'm going to do some baskets. I want to get things ready. So here are some Christmas ideas mm -hmm. um, and gift packs for, you know, people that you know some people might be hard to shop for. A lot of people like that. Oh, God, yeah. yeah. And uh, so we've got different themes. And, you know, we'll talk about maybe our favorite other stores, accessories to get accessories for these things. Mm -hmm. And food items. And knowing us, we'll probably come up with a few new ones yeah. while we're chatting. Okay. So we'll do a little bit of housekeeping now. I so wish we that have a, would leave us. So we have a new code this month. Oh, well, yes. It's the month of December. That's right. So do you want to know what the code is? Well, yes, please. It's mistletoe. Oh, oh. it's poisonous too, you know. It mistletoe. is. We used to have mistletoe growing in a tree outside my really? house. People, it really grows? When I was little, I yeah. it was fake. It was in a holly tree. <laughs> okay. And the fire department used to come over and go, can we cut mistletoe for the dance that oh. we're having? Oh, sure. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Okay. Yes. You know, those firemen yeah. with those hoses. So you know, and they're, you know, away from home so often. You mm. never know what goes on. Sorry, all firemen in there. <laughs> So, and then uh, what else are we going to talk about? So, we got the list. So, that, that's the discount code is mistletoe. Yep. And uh, if you want to listen to us. Oh, you, then we got to tell people to listen to us yeah, now. They please. are. Well, <laughs> if you like what you're hearing, maybe not just right at the minute. Yeah. <laughs> but if you like what you're hearing, please feel free to share us, let people know about us. And you can also email feedback and ideas yeah. to podcasts. Yeah, if you want to. Us to talk about something in particular? Yes, that would be great. Or a theme for our next show? Absolutely. Well, not the next one because we already got that planned. Yeah. So, you know, in the future. Yes. That's right. So, podcast at usafoods.com.au. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Oh. So, sorry if you hear my thing going off in the background, but uh, I have to leave it on at this today. That's okay. okay. We can just see how life is, is interrupted at all yeah. times by technology. All right. So I uh, will go also to do today our personal best product profile. Yes. And our Ripper recipe roundup. Yay! Oh, glad we'll I have a little bit of a uh, holiday theme on that one. Yes, we will. All right. So uh, fun fact number one, I'll let you do that one. Because I didn't bring my glasses, but I can oh, read the okay. other one. Oh, okay. That's all right. We got the big print uh, printouts. <laughs> Well, you know, sort of the point of having glasses. Is, I got contacts. Well, but that's not helping you right now. I know. It? it doesn't make any difference. Do you need to I leave know. a spare yeah. pair somewhere? Yeah. Okay. So Here. We, yeah, I need to leave. <laughs> so mistletoe's name isn't as sweet as um, what it represents. The mistletoe's name might not give you quite as many warm feelings. The mistle thrush birds eat the plant's berries, digest the seed, and then help plant germinate and germinate with their droppings. Yeah, Pleasant. How things so, go around. So the Germanic word for mistletoe literally means dung on a twig. Oh. <laughs> okay. So romantic. That is. No wonder why people want to kiss it. Yeah. Kiss underneath the dung on the, tw on the yeah. twig. All right. Now I'll do number two because yes. this one's short and I can read half of it. Uh, <laughs> you know that Rudolph, he was going to be called Reginald. Oh, he would have got beaten up even more. Yeah. <laughs> so I, it's, 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 so Reginald, so Rudolph was uh, by, he was christened Reginald by city so author, I guess, mm -hmm. uh, by Illinois-based copywriter Robert L. May, uh -huh. who decided to invent an oddball reindeer as a gimmick in 1939. Didn't go to the World's Fair, but, but <laughs> uh, <laughs> for a range at, Montgomery Wards for coloring oh, books. Monkey, monkey Wards. Monkey Wards. My dad used to work there. He sold sewing machines there. Wow. He was a Renaissance mad man, dad. God, I remember going to Montgomery Wards. Monkey Wards. Well, yes. I'm sad because I really thought, always thought Rudolph was real, and now you've ruined this for oh, me, Phil. Sorry. I hope no young kids are listening. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. We maybe maybe the producer put a warning yeah. at the beginning. Uh, now. No one knows which president put up the first White House Christmas tree. Some historians are insistent that it was President Franklin Pierce in 1856. Others suggest 
that it was President Benjamin Harrison in, who introduced it in 1889. Mm-hmm. It has been established established that President Coolidge started the White House lighting ceremony in 1923. Well, none of these presidents are the first people off the top of my head when I think <laughs> of presidents. I actually might miss Pierce if I was having to name from Washington through. Yeah. But it is, I love when they do the White House tours and you see the oh. rooms in different, I love that. And it's beautiful. Well, they've been doing it for a long time and, so, and they got the money to do it. Yeah, <laughs> at least since 1856, 1889 or 1923, one of those. Yeah, okay. That's it. So here's another cheering fact about the holidays. <laughs> so at least 15,000 people, this must be only in the U.S., are sent to the ER, emergency room, over Christmas. Right. With what? Food poisoning? What is it? Uh, factualists. <laughs> okay. Most of them are, well, this is probably older because the new ones, you don't, you can't do it any longer. Yeah, but yeah. you could probably, I, I get on the new ones, uh, like if you cut the wire, that's very thin and you, you know, it's like embeds in your yes. fingers and stuff, but burning themselves on the Christmas lights. Oh. And I think probably falling off ladders might. Yeah, might that's, a, that's that probably well. second. But yes. remember, and then probably slipping on ice. You know, and probably getting too drunk and falling over That's and going right. down the stairs. After an argument. Here comes Santa Claus. No, it's just Uncle Harry falling down the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, well, and after an argument with, I told you to put the lights up. You've been saying you're going to do it for three weeks. Yeah. Fine. Door slam, fall yeah. there. And dried Christmas trees spark hundreds of fires. An average 17 deaths and 13 million in property damage. How cheerful is that? That is like holiday? Merry Christmas. Yeah. But again, you know, now with the LED lights, and there's no heat to them. No. You know, I remember the little ones we used to get that, and they were all nice little colors. You have to screw them in. And, I love them. You those. go touch them, you burn, burn you. the oh, crap out of your hand. God. Yes. But I do love those big lights. We've got the LED version of some of those. Mm-hmm. Um, but. It's still, it gets so dry. If something else happens, it could still spark a yeah. fire. If you have your fireplace going and something. Well, you won't do that here. Well, it's Melbourne. It might. It might. might be doing it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, on that happy note, mm-hmm. yeah. there we will. More take Christmas a- cheer coming up. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> All right. We'll take our Christmas cheer break. Where's the alcohol? Okay. <laughs> Okay, we're back. And here we are. Yep. And then we're going to talk about 20, at least 20 different things. You yep. might be cut off by a producer, you know, if we get too long winded. But here's 20 different ideas of like what you could give to somebody that you don't know what to give. That's right. And, and you know, money doesn't work. You know, money, it's, it's like stupid because they don't, they don't buy anything with it. It goes in their pocket for most people yeah and then it just goes you end up paying buying groceries and or they something. don't realize yeah and they don't have anything to appreciate of what you gave them and gift cards people forget them put them at the bottom of the drawer or they put them on ebay the next day for a 50 dollars <laughs> gift card for only 19.95 yeah god people yeah. do that so when you um when you, a good idea is to either get a basket or mm-hmm. a box or yeah. something like a nice little you can even get the round hat boxes so if you go to any sort of two dollar shop yeah they have stores. plenty of those type of boxes there and some tissue paper you can do a whole bunch of or them. toilet paper they wouldn't know the difference <laughs> just sprayed a little gold spray on it phil they would know the that difference was a value oh. six months ago yes, yes that's true look how you valuable even, that you is. might even get a hat box full of toilet paper there yes. you go for uh-huh. you and your bum. Yeah. And the other thing is, uh, even like the cups, the Christmas cups, they're good to put little things in Absolutely. and wrap them up. And here's a uh, hint by Hall- Heloise. Yes. You remember her? I do. Okay. So this is thrifty Heloise. Mm. So at the day after Christmas, mm. go to the malls and to the uh, the DFO and all that. Yep. And then hunt around for nice cups, Christmas cups, that used to sell for $10 that they're selling for now a dollar. Uh, and save for next year. If you remember where you put them. <laughs> I myself have been caught with that before. And then yes. I always find in July. I, I, <laughs> I, I lost them for two years in a row. I do remember that at work. I yeah. do remember. Mm-hmm. Um, also places like um, TK Maxx, if you want to go like a little higher end, they have really good priced almost trays that are fabric lined. So oh, they nice. look like a basket or thing. Yeah. So if you're doing a cooking themed thing, that mm-hmm. would be really good. Also, um, 
depending. So we're going to talk about barbecue first, for yeah. example. You can get some nice uh, gingham napkins or a little thing and throw that and use that as the base. Yeah, and uh, maybe even a nice, well, now a little ecological uh, forks and spoons and knives yep. that are made out of like bamboo or something. So absolutely not plastic any longer. You just, I think the pack is you want someone to be able to create something yes. with everything you have in it. Yeah, and look for something, you know, uh, you know, if you're on a budget, you could you could really find you know hunt around find some things and maybe even polish them up a little bit, and and still being on a budget, you could say okay, well I'll do like all these little things that are not expensive, and maybe one nice like a nice candle or something yeah, like absolutely. Oh, something a little bit nice, more mementos. Yeah, there. and so like for example with the barbecue sauce, get some or barbecue. You can do sauces, sauces, rubs. And you could do the little things you put in a corn. Oh, that's a great idea. You know those things and. Yeah. You can find a book like um, Bob yeah. Hart's book, like yeah. if you can you find can. that around, or a really good small recipe, barbecue recipe book. Yeah, you can find a little bitty one. Yeah. yeah. And and things like if someone wants to make their own barbecue sauce, if someone's a bit of a, a like barbecue you, aficionado. That's right. Like Phil at the moment is a pizza king. So yes, right. someone feels the same way about you can get some molasses, you can get some brown sugar, some seasoning. Yeah, they some make, ingredients. Exactly. That's right. Really yeah. good vinegar. Cayenne, pepper. All of yeah. that. And they can make their own. Mm -hmm. My dad would have loved that. Yeah. And then you could even, you know, pickle and do some of the your things you're on, like if you want to do some pickling or whatever, because that goes with barbecue. That's another Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. Well, we're, we're going to come up to pickles in a second. Mm, okay. And I thought of one the other day, because I, I was walking around the store, and this is one of my favorite products, yeah. root beer. Root beer. So someone that loves root beer. Yeah, we got a lot of different varieties. And that's it. Make your own six or 12 pack of different things and yeah. root beer barrels and, you know, all those special little things. And maybe throw some birch beer or whatever mm -hmm. you have in it. And you can mix it like getting a mug mm, uh, yes so you can make it frosty frosty mug taste yep stick but, it in the but freezer but that's one of the things that you could put into that little basket there absolutely so that would be nice and maybe even well how about a soda uh, uh, like a fun soda basket mm -hmm. so you can do that with and straws is and another straws thing. and bottle openers yep. nice maybe a couple of nice glasses that are boxed yeah that's why i said that that's what yeah. i meant by the mug oh by the mug not well, mug root beer well no. i'm thinking about <laughs> i'm thinking about a mug for root beer but i'm thinking about maybe a soda shop glass okay like, like, a, like a coke glass yeah something like that yeah. um because there's heaps of people that like like imagine Sean, our warehouse mm -hmm. manager, who everyone's heard Halloween last year, he lives for Mountain Dew. Yeah. So, you know, so you could do little green and then mountain, different Mountain Dew flavors. Yeah. You know, Unfortunately, we don't have any like t shirts this year because no. of the uh, transportation issues. That's all right. Yeah. But there's, a, there's another idea the t shirt theme to go with it. It's almost like, how much do you love someone? You yeah. keep throwing things in. Mm -hmm. um, and then we can also do a retro. A retro thing. So oh, we got a lot of retro products. Oh, uh, yeah, great. Yeah. So old candies, old sodas, old like Bay. the Frosties. <laughs> old, <Bay. laughs> <laughs> old people, old everything. That's yeah. right. Um, but I like the idea of those little, like the dots and the, you know, yeah. um, Necco wafers and um, some of the old sodas. Oh, the, the other, the chocolate, the non-Pirellis. That's right. Yeah. Snow caps. Is Snow that caps. what we had? Yep. We are very happy with those. Yeah, so yeah, there's summers. a lot of retro things. They even saw what a tappy is retro, I guess. Absolutely. And then you can put in, I have a really good friend, Grace, and she, we like kitsch things. And mm -hmm. she found this San Francisco apron at, it was at a um, an op shop. But oh, yeah. Someone brought it back. No one's ever worn oh, yeah. it. And it's the cutest thing ever. Yeah, you find a lot of yeah. th things that people travel with and then you find them at op shops, yes, exactly. you know. <laughs> So that's a that's yeah. another glasses good idea. and mugs. You, I see them all the time because Jeanette's an op shop person. Yeah, she's always looking for material and stuff. Oh yeah, and she goes there and looking for lacing stuff like mm -hmm. that. And uh, so I, I'm having time because I, you know, I have to drive Miss Daisy. Oh, don't be so mean. <laughs> okay, Jeanette. because she don't know how to drive. But, oh, uh, you are awful. No, well, she don't. I have to drive. Otherwise, she won't go. Okay. All right. So I got to drive Miss Daisy. Woman. Yeah. Oh, 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 my God. Ooh, eat. I can feel this. Oh. <laughs> Stab boom's going in now. You and the <laughs> dog can uh, move yeah. out somewhere. Yes, yeah. my mom will disown you. Okay. So, so, and when I'm there looking at those op shops, there's mm -hmm. always glasses and cups from all over the world. Like, oh, you know, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's and they're right. old too. So they're antiques. <laughs> well, you might be pushing. They're at least retro, if not antique. Yes. But, you mm -hmm. know, the kids today, they love that stuff. I tell you one time with... Uh, 
Uncle Leo. With Leo. No, what I love did. a Leo story. No, <laughs> tell me. So we're living in Jersey, mm-hmm. right? And I always had a, a liking for clocks and stuff. And Leo also liked antique stuff. And so we went into, we were like in, um, not Red Hill. Yeah, Red Hill. Mm-hmm. And uh, so we go in there. It was a Red, Red Bank. So okay. Red Bank, which is a nice yuppie type part of New Jersey down yep. the shore. And uh, we go into an antique place. And of course, we walk in there. We're young at the time. And, you know, and the fellow goes, you know, like insulted us. Like, do we sell antiques? We don't sell used furniture here. Ooh. Oh. Leo would have loved that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I can't say what I was going to say. No, I'm no. thinking any story I've heard, yes. you probably would have to edit a little bit. Yeah. Well, you could think of some of I the excellent think- deletas that might have came out of his mouth. <laughs> yeah. So hey, this is not meant for you. Mm-hmm. Man. And then we got breakfast. Yes. Or fun or serious. That's right. So the, I guess the serious will be like grape nuts and. Or pancakes and waffles oh, and beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful maple syrups and different yeah. sorts of syrups. Because the maple syrups come in those decorated bottles too. So yeah. they're really nice and they, they're really gift giving. They are. And there are some, there are some lovely gourmet and those, ones. And the ones we have, like the uh, the snow bears or whatever, and they yeah, have the little hats on them. Yes. Yeah. I've got I'm, The little knitted I've got, hat. It's very cute. <laughs> yeah. um, and we've got some really nice, or not just from us, from anywhere that you decide, but there's um, lovely little pancake mixes or waffle Speak, mixes. Speaking of animals with little things on, today, yes. on the way in. Yes. So the car next time, I look at the car and the dog's looking out the window. A little dog like yours. Yes. But not, not a, uh, what do you call your dog? Cabby. Like, yeah. Not a f- but he knows Phil. He's the dog lover. I've heard about him on yeah. the grapevine. Yes. He's a cavalier. Right? Yes. Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay. So this dog was like a wiry type little dog. Mm-hmm. And it must have just came back from the groomer. He's looking very fancy. But he had this little mohawk <laughs> up in his head. And it looks so good. So he, it, they shaved his hair and he just had this little mohawk in the middle. I and the that. little ears coming out. And it looked just great. And then but it, then it, the car started moving. And then there was another dog in the back with hair like all out. Like, <laughs> I said, oh, this guy is done. <laughs> Got that from getting his uh, hair fancy. He's got to get product for the dog's hair, you know? <laughs> I, gotta... <laughs> I love that. You can get some uh, vegan hair color and, yeah. like, do the dog. You yeah. can have, like, little well, purple mohawk. Need. He had, the, he had the, uh, the salt and pepper look. Oh, very nice. Yes. That's disting- distinguished. Very distinguished with that little. <laughs> it looks so great. Um, just tell Phil to do it at Kumi. I don't think it would I don't know how you would. There'd be a lot of shaving having to get But you need that. You need product, you know, you to do. make it stick up. <laughs> So he definitely has something in his dog's hair. <laughs> All right. And breakfast. So there's fun breakfast. Like, you know, like, uh, and we have those little cups too. Yeah. We've got a heap of little. So you don't have to buy a big box. Yeah. So single serves of like Lucky Charms and yeah. even, even um, Frosted okay. Mini Wheats. Yeah. There you go. And a whole bunch of different ones. So you can make a whole selection. Mm-hmm. And we also have Pop-Tarts. Yeah. Like that's a fun breakfast. And we got the two, two in a pack ones now. Yeah. So there's a. You know, you can just have fun. You know what's nice? That's actually quite nice to do to a for a niece or a nephew yeah. or a great niece or a great nephew. It's like your mother won't let you have it. But, I'm gonna but here it. you go. Yeah. It's like it's Then they curse at you behind your back. <laughs> and you can get like nice little bowls. Mm-hmm. If it's a little kid, you can get like the cute oh, little yeah, melamine little... bowls and exactly. spoons and a little, you know, little napkins. Yeah, they're, you can make they're, a whole little set. Like, so, yeah. And put and a nice colorful box that they use to throw their stuff in afterwards. That's exactly right. And that's the thing is try to make everything in it usable, yeah. which is, I love those yeah, sort of Kids baskets. don't use pencil boxes anymore. They do, they'd use pencil, um, they use pencil cases. A case, yeah. But, you know, with, with girls, there's mm-hmm. all sorts of little things like, you know, doll shoes, doll yeah. clothes, hair ties. Mm-hmm. There's crap everywhere. I know yeah. I've stepped on it and I've vacuumed it up. It'd be good <laughs> if there was a, a well, little Well, that brings box us to the next one, being a clean freak. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we know clean freaks in our lives. But the clean freak, for example, we have um, Dawn dishwashing liquid, yeah. which if you're on TikTok or Pinterest, you see it mentioned a lot. It's mm-hmm. quite good. I had to get some from my bestie. Um, but you can get some different cleaning products they have these little scrub daddy brushes you can get now just i have a friend that would go absolutely insane if she got a basket full of cool cleaning 
cleaning products that you that you wouldn't usually get. Yeah, and then you get some things that are the gourmet cleaning products. Oh yes, you know, like the Yardley <laughs> and things like that. That's right, and here's some beeswax uh, for your furniture. Yeah, and here's a all organic and get the really natural products yes, and things. All the natural and there's lots of those things out there. Oh yeah, and really citrus smelling and room fresheners yeah. and that sort of thing to make. Yeah. And your so house. Do I, I prefer you know, to me it doesn't make any difference on I'm not the ecological type person. Yeah. But but on the you know, because my skin is very sensitive, mm -hmm. just like me. And I prefer you know, I so I don't like using soap. So yeah. all the natural products do work really well. And some of them have such natural fragrance, like one we use it's it has like a real like outdoors pinesy yeah, smell. I love it that. just smells beautiful. So that stuff is yeah. absolutely gorgeous. And the thing is like I would love if I got a whole bunch of that doesn't mean I want it all for Christmas to mm -hmm. the person sitting, sitting to the left of me, yeah. but a whole bunch of new microfiber cloths or a whole bunch of new things that, you know, you don't get that because that's, it. I don't want to spend that much on that. I'll just get the Okay, Brennan, regular. the places, you know, by DFO, Kitchen Warehouse, go Yeah, in Kitchen there. Warehouse, yep, that's yeah, it. Actually, yeah. anything in there is fine. Yes. I got a toaster last year. Yes, I did get a toaster. <laughs> did any, and uh, did you get a vacuum cleaner the year before? No, he got his own damn vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I know. Look, I like appliances. Yeah. Don't get me wrong, but the vacuum cleaner doesn't count. Oh, that don't count. Yeah, no, that's no, too no, much no. work. That's right. Yeah. Well, you get him a lawnmower. Well, he doesn't need. It. He's got artificial turf. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. So now we got a, like a Mexican pack. Yeah, absolutely. Olé. And that could go for anything from uh, tahine. Oh, yeah, tahine, um, chipotle peppers. Yes. You can do different salsas. You can do a verde, you can do a red, you can mm -hmm. do different varieties. You can do um, tortillas, mm -hmm. tortilla presses, yeah. maseca. You were going to say matzas. That's, no, that's, matzas. That's, that's another, that's Hanukkah. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, so there's, there's a lot of different things you could do there. One of the things, remember I brought back from California, mm -hmm. okay, it was the... Uh, the dried fruit, but it was uh, apricots. Yes. And now I know what they put it in. Yes. They put it in tahini. Mm -hmm. So if you go out and buy dried apricots and then put them into a bag, a plastic bag, and sprinkle tahini and shake oh, it yeah. up and then tighten them up so it sticks on it really good, they that's a combination. Oh. Uh, well, and then we have, I think it's the, is it papaya candy that we've no, got? No, it's the tamarind. Oh, it's, that's right. Or tamarind. Tam tamarind. Tamarind. So tamarind candy, and also they, they stretch it out because it's like uh, shoe leather. Right. So they stretch it a bit, and then they put the tahini on it. I think they like slap it, and it's like a big thing uh, on YouTube, and then they put tahini on on that. So yeah. tahini, if you're not knowing, it's a, it's Italian, not Italian, it's a Mexican, Mexican. <laughs> uh, spice, seasoning. Yep. And you use it to for a lot of different things. It's used on fruit. Yep. Okay, like our strawberries and stuff. Use it to rim a glass. That's right. You can make a macalada. Yes. Right, which you rim the your glass and then you pour beer into it and a little bit of clamato. Uh, <laughs> Looks very absolutely good. disgusting, and I refuse to try it yet. <laughs> <laughs> but the things with the apricots are really good. And if you and somebody that needs a little bit more help, you buy dry prunes and do it right. with that. I'm not between that and the tahini, they should be fine. Yes. Okay. So. Now we got like gourmet. Yeah. So like our Stonewell products are gourmet. And they they're are, all high ends and yep. flavors that are totally different. And you can fill a basket. So I would say a basket. Um, I would still probably get maybe, you can get those little spoons, those little serving spoons oh, yeah, nice. that you can put in. Or go to the op shop again and get the yep. little ones that the, the spoons that everybody traveled around and brought that's home right. with the little tram car and they, stuff on them. Brendan's got a collection on that. Yeah. Um, so you can do that and then get, because you can get things from uh, syrups to little jams to chutneys. And teas. And all of that. Yeah. So and you, candles. You and can if you little... do tea, you get a nice cup. Yeah. Um, you can get a tea strainer. There's some beautiful little, and again, op shopping is great for that. Mm -hmm. But you can get just lovely, affordable things. Yeah. And here's a whole experience for you. There you go. Soup yep. to nuts. With somebody that. Wants the best. That's exactly yeah. right. And I was thinking about to go up a bit at the top of the page, a cowboy pack. Mm -hmm. So you can do some good baked beans. You can get some oh, beef yeah. jerky. Some you can get -I -A. yeah. You can get your uh, chili mix. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just here's a whole yeah, pack. Hey, yeah, all different flavorings and seasoning that have to do with the West. Yeah, and maybe yeah. a Sioux City something in and there. And a cast iron skillet. 
Ooh, that would be really good because yeah. you take that and make your cornbread or your biscuits out in the campfire. Yeah, and hit somebody over the head. <laughs> it's, it's a weapon. Well, yes. Okay, mm-hmm. sure. Let's take it there. That's okay. no problem. <laughs> so let's meet Miranda Ron because we still got the time limit on all this and we were only a third of the way uh, through. Okay. So hurting, we got a lot of hurting sauces. Yes. So you could have your fill of how bad you want to hurt them. <laughs> It's usually when someone comes in the shop, it's like their brother-in-law or their father-in-law. It says it wasn't hot enough. Yeah, Mm -hmm. give them this. Okay. And that'll be the end of it. Mm -hmm. But you can do that with a chili mix or some really nice like dried beans to make something with it. And that has a very big range of Mm -hmm. price. Oh, yeah. You could go down from like, I think an ounce or probably like from $3.99 to $4.99 for the Mexican hot sauce from First Street all the way up to like $80 yeah, for, for the, the 3 a.m. Uh, yeah, and that'll take someone out. Yeah. And you can And there's do- a lot in the middle that will take them out too. And that's right. You can get, some of them are flavored with fruit. If, like, yeah. you know, so you can get a nice little selection of a whole bunch of things no one has ever tried before. Yep. And then you can get them some Pepto-Bismol to go with it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or some antacids or yeah. just something to make it a little bit funny. Yeah. Now to moving on, the next two we'll put together, the chocolate yeah. lovers and candy. Yeah. How's that? That sounds good. Again, there's just so many different varieties out there in our store and elsewhere, like you get ch- chocolates. Just over uh, at Costco, they have a G- Godiva chocolate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I love think it was Godiva. One. Could be another one. With they, do God- they do Godiva at Time and Lint yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. And you can get, um, we have the candy flavored chapsticks or the, oh, yeah. or, you know, not lip balls. Yeah, I guess you could consider that as candy. Well, you could be a little, well, for chocolate, for chocolate yeah. lovers, you yeah. could do, a big Hershey's, you could do some Junior Mints, you could do... All right, well, there's so much just with your chocolate. That's right, Godiva and this. Bottle of syrup. <laughs> you could do that. <laughs> yes. In And then you can put like a little... Cocoa Puffs. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's still, you can get chocolate puff torts in there. Mm-hmm. And the candy is, you know, you've got chewy candy, you've got sour candy. You could do a whole sour candy. Yeah. You know, you could do gummies, mm-hmm. you can do old school candies you can do hard lollies yeah you know so all sorts of things if so anyone depending on what it, they like and, and their age group that's right and throw a toothbrush in there if you- <laughs> <laughs> and, and dr doug's uh card that, <laughs> that's right yeah, yeah. i think that i wonder if he gives his patients those uh, snyder's hard pretzels <laughs> just to get him in earlier yeah. and my like my niche and what i love is um baking as yeah. you know mm-hmm. And I have a friend that lives in Tasmania. We were doing like about once every three months, we're sending little gifts to each other just yep. just for the hell of it. And I made a pie pack for oh. her. So I got her a pie dish. I went to, and this is another one, like I went to TK Maxx. I got right. her a pie dish. Mm-hmm. I got her some spatulas. I got her a crimping. You can buy a little, it goes around the outside of the pie and makes right. the crimp for you. And then some ingredients. So I got pumpkin pie ingredients, which... Couldn't do this and, year. And far as the gourmet goes, you just buy a little thing of uh, pure uh, vanilla. E- extract, yes. <laughs> That's 40 bucks. That's exactly right. <laughs> and you can put it, and I actually put in the the pie ingredients. I put in, I wrote little recipe cards. Oh, so awesome. she could make them. And, yeah. and a couple of tea towels. Mm-hmm. So I that is just so fun. Yeah. Especially yeah, because you, you're finding things that you like when you go to East Source. Oh, I wish I had that. You know? and, and I'm thinking about like, you know, for baking, even... An old school sifter, you know the flour sifter. Oh yeah, they're they're kind of back in, yeah. so you can have put that flour all over the bench with it as well. Yeah. Now we go to another favorite cocktails. Well, cocktails are well, you know how I feel about cocktails, yeah. Phil. And there's a lot of different things to go with cocktails. Again, going from looking for martini glasses and proper stuffed, olives. I was going to say stuffed olives, or you can or, go Gibson and get the yeah, onions. Onions, yes, mm-hmm. and the little toothpicks to go with them. Yeah. You know, so there's so many different things, or you could probably find those little uh, umbrella ones yes yeah. and you can get really fancy bitters so you can get different oh, bitters yeah. um you can i got get... rhubarb bitters that's really nice well yeah that'd be lovely mm-hmm. and and they have cherries. bitters kits now too so you can make your own bitters oh uh, well there's a that's a great idea so a couple of nice glasses of bitters kit mm-hmm. uh, maybe some really nice maraschino cherries just stuff maybe things to make a manhattan yeah, you don't have to get the alcohol, but just get all the things you yeah. need to make a cocktail. That, you can get shakers and the, yeah. you know, the strainers. A little strainers bit of, and... uh, to make pina colada, a little thing of uh, pineapple juice. Yeah, and, and coconut. Coconut juice. Yeah. yeah. And I think with that, too, it's also nice to just pop a couple. Maybe you can even buy a little cocktail book. Yeah. And throw that oh, yeah, in there. Oh, yeah, that's a good idea. But, uh, yeah. I would a little have... shaker oh, or yes. stirred. <laughs> 
<laughs> you have the James Bond version or right. mm-hmm. or the Tom Cruise and cocktail version. Yep. That's it. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, things to make maybe if someone really loves, if someone's special drink is a certain thing, all the good stuff to go around it. Right. And then we got the picnics. Because yes. it is picnic season. Yep. So that's also, that's that's like you're saying, with, you know, big basket with done up with a gingham size yep. inside. And then there's, you know, and get, anything from ketchup to forks and to relish to seasoned plates. sauce and oh, that's Everything. so much you could think about throwing in a picnic. Maybe better. a little arrow guard. Yeah. <laughs> Just in case. Yeah. Wet wipes. My mom always had oh, the, wet yeah, wipes the wet wipes when you're out idea. there. Yeah. And um, citronella candles. <laughs> Like when it starts getting dark. That's right. And you can have a lovely a lovely sort of theme with that. Mm. And picnic rug and little glasses for the kids maybe, all that sort of set. And again, at the op shops, there's a lot of picnic packs that are never used. You know, people buy those. Oh, they, yeah. somebody gives them to them. So it's like re-giving, you know, just find Ooh. one that's that looks still as it hasn't been opened. But, and a lot of them have, are that Haven't yet. Yes. And maybe even a little thermos for your coffee afterward. There you go. That's okay. it. And then we got the pickle pack. Pickle pack. There's a lot of pickles. You can and pickle anything. People, and the people like pickles. <laughs> Eat your piper. Yeah. <laughs> because right. we got like already made pickles. Mm-hmm. And we got my favorite, which is Bubba's in the refrigerator pickles. Yes. Okay. So they even if you pack it that day, they're, they're tolerant for a yeah. while not to be in the fridge. Um, and then we got the Mrs. Way, wages. Yeah, and they are pickle pickle like, pouches that you make your own pickles with. Yeah, so, so it's it has, all the seasoning and everything. Mm-hmm. You just put it put it together and put your cucumbers in, and you make your own and pickles that's it. or tomatoes even. Oh, that would be. And you can pickle. I know you want pickle beets, but you can pickle beets, yeah. and you can pickle um, Brussels sprouts. And we have some of those little things. Yeah. You can get like even a little like special relishes to go yeah. with it as well. Pickle relish, and that's a fun thing. Yeah. And then we got, uh, well, American groceries. I think that's pretty. Well, you can do something like I used to, we had friends when I did Thanksgiving one year and they came over and they went to USA Foods before right. they came over. And I had all sorts of great things. Like there was a cake mix. There was, I think, an Uncle Ben's rice. There was um, like groceries that yeah, I missed a lot from of people home. shop. If you're shopping for yourself, you buy the same thing over and over again. That's right. Somebody else buys for you and puts it together it's, there's oh. gonna be a lot of things that you never tried exactly and it was so much fun because yeah. i it, it was just lovely and they had a few some candy some sodas but those sort of things that you think i wonder if they like to try that kind of like we have the breading mixes yeah you know just a little gourmet mm-hmm. pack of some interesting things yep. then we get on to rubs and spices and that's oh. a whole big ball game again i mean spices yes. from forever Oh, absolutely. Because, you know, as I talked a few weeks ago, I like the um, Goya seasonal. Yeah. And you can do, they have, we have different adobo si- um, spices through Goya. So you got the Mexican side, you got the American side, you got the Western side, well, you got the New Orleans side. That's right. And you can do like, you know, the East Coast with Old Bay. Yeah. It's like a little bit of everything. You can even go to crab boil. Mm-hmm. You can go to all sorts of different yeah. regional yeah, and names. like my favorite, you know, I like using celery salt now. I think oh. celery salt is like fantastic. It is. And yeah. it should be on everything. It should be on everything. And then we have uh, the, uh, not the everything bagel seasoning, which I've Absolutely. been making the everything bagel pizzas. Oh, they are so good. <laughs> and that's what I'm hoping for another break so I can have another bite. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there are all sorts of different tastes and flavors. And that can just, that, what a lovely gift that'll last all yeah, year. Cause, yeah, because Usually you put it in a closet and it's there. You take it out three years later. It's still pretty good. Oh, I had um, friends went to Savannah and they came back with some, well, this is before the moment, but came back with some Paula Dean seasoning for me, her oh. house seasoning. And I was like. It must have been fatty. <laughs> How many calories? <laughs> There's the one thing that's not fatty. That has no calories. That's right. But I was like, that is such a good gift to bring back to someone because I loved it and I used it and it was magnificent. Yeah. And then we got on, you put here, the mustard connoisseur. Yes. You take like the Grey Poupon. That's right. You have Grey Poupon. We got, got, yeah, there's a lot of different flavored mustards now. So you got the American mustards, you got, which is like the traditional French's. Yep. And then you have um, the Goldens, which That's is right. a spicy, spicy brown. brown. You got the Coney Island style ones. We've you know, even got horse, horseradish, horseradish mu- mustard. Horseradish I think we even have. Yes. So there is a mustard 
they're more mustards than people. There's yes. just everything there. And that's a nice lot of, you know, someone likes a lot of roast beef or that's something a little bit different. And mustards last yeah. so long. Yeah. That I like hot this English mustard myself. Yeah. I like it because yeah. it clears your sinuses, yeah. but you're not dying for an hour right. after having, yeah. having it. So then we get on to cookies. Mm. I really like cookies. And well, it's better always when somebody makes them. Oh, yeah. Well, so you could do a, you can go get a cookie tray, mm -hmm. cookie pan, and a lot of them come with the um, cooling rack inside it. Right. Do that, some spatulas, some cookie cutters, some cookie mixes. Yeah. Or make if your you own just mix. want to have already cookies that are done. Oh, uh, yeah. The pictures form, so they're really homemade. Oh. You could take them out of the packet and put them onto the tray. <laughs> yes, you may. And we'll give another plug to uh, Cecilia De Noche, the de, de whatever. Oh. Okay, off of uh, Keys Road. That's and right. Flyers. The Italian Fantastic bakery. Fantastic cookies. There are Italian oh. cookies. All, you... all basically made there. Not, you know, it's like homemade stuff. And they are beautiful. And that would, yes. wouldn't that be gorgeous in a, oh. in a little container? With, yes. With everything else. You could get a nice, you can actually get a really nice cookie jar and put those in it. Mm -hmm. it just, it's like infinite possibilities. Yep. Now, the other, the next one, pies, I've already sort of talked about yep. when I did that. But, you know, and also with cakes, you can do some cake mixes, some cake pans, some, you know, those things, like one of those Kugelhoff pans that yeah. people look at and go, I'm never going to buy, I'm not yeah, going to buy it. Exactly. So get it and get some like oven mitts and some tea towels. And, you know, so the next time they mm -hmm. bake, they're thinking of you. Yep. <laughs> See? Sorry about that. That's okay. okay. See life. This yeah. is, this is yeah, how it is. Going. It's just not the dog barking. It's the phone going. That's great. <laughs> <laughs> it was grand probably looking for, um, Key Breading? Line. Oh, key, key line spices. Yeah. Ah. All right. So let's move on to snack packs. That's that's also another big can of worms because we have snacks from all over America and yep. Mexico now. Yes. With batacas. Batacas. That whole thing is gone already. I know. We sold out. Yeah. We have still some in the store, but there's no more online. No. It, they, people will take out their grandmother for some. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can do, so if you like, Cheesy snacks. You can get some Cheetos, some Flaming Hot, some Cheez-Its. You know, Cheez -Its. Yep. Um, so like crackers and different. We got all the new Ritz uh, cheese oh, ones yes. in. Oh, yes. I have to try those. The, I saw the them. Ritz chips, they're called, right? Yes. Yeah. They look very good. Mm -hmm. um, so you can do like cheesy snacks. You can do hot because we've got plenty of hot yeah, chips hot as well. Um, healthy because we've got the popped chips. Mm -hmm. You've got some oh, popcorn. Yeah, smart, you can, smart corn. That's right. You can do a popcorn pack with that. And, you know, we can't bring in unpopped popcorn, but yeah. you can certainly add it to it. Yeah, and that also goes back to your seasonings too, because you make your own popcorn, oh. you can use a lot of different seasonings. you know, like out. Hidden Valley Ranch seasoning on popcorn is yeah. fantastic. So you can do all those things and keep building on ideas in the different stores you go to. And I think, and you can even do... You know, we've got little single serve size one ounce bags of a few different things, so people can have a taste. Mm -hmm. You can have a taste of the yes. original ruffles yeah, and all a lot that. Of little bags. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, and uh, last one: books and wine. Mm -hmm. Books. I mean, that's there's oh. endless amount of books for everybody and every taste and desire. That's exactly right. And some like thrifted books are great. I yeah. love opening if I get a book from the thrift store. I love looking at and seeing whose names in it. <sighs> And sometimes you get one where they've underlined something. I kind of think mm -hmm. it carries the story of the person as well. Mm -hmm. And wine, you can get some beautiful glasses and, you know, like and Riddell carafes, glass and something. all that sort of stuff and find out what they like. Yeah. And, and because if you're, out. if you know somebody's into wine, yeah, mm -hmm. you need to craft it first because if it's been sitting for a long time, yep. it's all the sentiment and stuff. I never have done that. I think I've done it <laughs> once. <laughs> Uh, because I only buy one that's under five dollars. <laughs> well, that's okay. Yeah. There's some good and ones in that as well. Wine, you know? well. That's all right. So, but you can absolutely make something special, or someone that you know you the, in, getting introduced to wine. Yes. So here's some red glasses or some white glasses. Here's some maybe some dessert wines. Here's something to get you started. A little book. On, yeah, a little book on wine. Yep. Yeah, exactly. That is. And we're uh, blessed here in Australia with so much wine. Oh, we are. It's wonderful. And yeah. one year, I, a gift I received, which was really lovely, was a, an Italian cookbook, and it had a CD of Italian music to cook ah. by, you know, and it was lovely. And I did. And I used the yeah. recipe book. Okay. Well, that's that was a good session. All it right. Is. So we're going to uh, come back with our Ripper recipe roundup. That's what we're, we're going to uh, do that next. We're going to do that and next. And we'll take a little break. That's it. Okay.
Okay, we're back. Yes, we are. And we're going to do a little bit of a promotion here. So we're going to tell you about our store hours. Yep. And before that, I'll tell you, don't forget the uh, word of the month is mistletoe for getting a discount on click and collect or online. That purchases. is correct. So if you decide to come down and pick up your click and collect or visit us, we are at 73 Cochran's Road, Moorabbin. We're open Monday through Thursday, 10 to 5, Friday, 10 to 8, Saturday, 10 to 5, and Sunday, 11 to 5. And if I put dung on a twig in the super crowd, would that work? No. Dung on a twig. No. Dung on a twig, no. no. You've got to use mistletoe. You've got to use yes, mistletoe. mistletoe. Right. No, no oh, dung or, or crap or whatever. Right. Yeah. If you want to complain about this a little bit, please yeah. contact us at podcast at yeah. usafoods.com.au. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe if you want to hear the whole Uncle Leo story, maybe Phil will write it out and send it to you. So uh, let us know. All right. And then Sandra, do we get any listener emails? Well, uh, we we did. Um, but I will also say that I, I've got my mother this year with Thanksgiving because I just want to mention that she was going to order Gold Belly, which is a big company mm -hmm. that ship all over the country. So she made her order. Yeah. Nice and early, paid for it, and then they updated her order, mm -hmm. and they said, we can have it to you by the 30th. Of December? No, of November, <laughs> oh, okay. which is after Thanksgiving. These were her oh, Thanksgiving sides. Oh. And it was advertised as Thanksgiving sides, and she was in it, and then, I don't know, I guess everything's going to hell in a handbasket there as well. Yeah. So it's not just delivering. So, um, yes, she had to had to wing it on that one. Mm. Um and she was enjoying our podcast. Now, we have also heard from our friend Muffy, who has written a great email. I'm not going to read all of it just because of time, and Brendan will hit me over the head. Yep. But Hall she's going back to Halloween and talking about doing Halloween, and I love this. I'm going to read the last bit. Um, As a child, my mom introduced a Halloween tradition in our household that came from the Peanuts comic strips. Do you remember Linus would wait in the pumpkin patch to see the great pumpkin? Well, the great pumpkin would leave a bag of mixed lollies for me on our back step at some point Halloween night. So I got Halloween candy before trick-or-treating was ever done here. Aww. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. uh, so as much as Australia, as much as Halloween is not commonly celebrated here in the 70s and 80s, not all Australians were anti-Halloween trick-or-treat. My mom was pretty cool though. Keep up the great work. Yeah, we still get all that riffraff from Halloween. But how come I don't get, we didn't get any riffraff from when we had uh, Black Friday? Well, some of it. And because the people saying here now, they're saying, oh, how could you celebrate Black Friday? Because Black Friday means a different thing here in Melbourne yeah. because of the fires. Yeah. And so now people are associating it like with the fires. How could you have a sale on Black Friday, you know, celebrating Black Friday? A schmucks. Okay. It doesn't mean that. First of all, you know. And I put, uh, somebody had something on uh, one of the Facebook things, and I said, you can't have Black Friday without having Thanksgiving. Yeah, that's right. All right. So get lost. <laughs> okay. Another wannabes. Well, it's <laughs> funny how some people will just glom onto something because it suits them, but give everything else, you know, such a hard that's, time. Right, and it's so, true. Yeah. Black Friday was the traditional shopping day. In the U.S. Yes, to get, put you into the black. Yeah, exactly. And now people are making Black Friday month here almost. <sighs> I know. Well, get a break, you know. Before it even happens. Yeah. yeah. So, yes. Anyway. Yeah. Hey, we both had a rant today, Phil. Oh. Wow. I could have another rant if you want. <laughs> I got about four of them lined up. <laughs> well, if you feel the need, yes, I, we're here. I'll it's our therapy up. session. Okay. It's okay. So now we get on to our personal best product profile. Yes. And for me, we have this long loss. And, you know, I was told that I, it was my turn to do a personal profile. Yep. And I'm thinking about it, thinking about it. And then when I get to work, of course, I get pushed from here, there, and everywhere. I forget to go look around and see what hits me and say, oh, yeah, I really like yep. that. But for Happen, you brought this home. I did because okay. I'm going to serve it. So this is something that <laughs> my aunts, Connie and Francis, yes. okay, discovered many years ago in, in the Bronx, mm -hmm. okay? Because they always had Italian coffee, which right. is espresso, mm -hmm. right? And they also always had Medaglia d'Oro. Mm -hmm. But they found out, I don't know if they were hanging around with any... Puerto Rican fellows. Well, because this that's is their like business. The it's not your Puerto business. Rico. Okay. 
is Cafe Bustello. Oh. And they prefer this over the Italian Medaglia d'Oro to make espresso. Well, there you go. So that's how good this is. Now, this is, it's in a, still in a can. Yep. Not in plastic. And it's Cafe Bustello. We've been having a lot of people that call, you know, say, oh, could you get the, we finally broke down and ordered some. And believe it or not, we did get it. Yes. <laughs> so it's, uh, it goes way back. In my memory, as as a kid, and also drinking it because I used to, you know, as as a kid, we have a little taste of coffee, and you know, at the mm. end of the thing, that go with the Italian pastries, uh, and it's it's really good. And it says here, this is a nice little catch in on the thing: the best coffee is enjoyed with company. Oh, isn't that the truth? Yeah. So it's it's really from the islands. More from Caribbean, so how mm-hmm. it got started there. And it's a versatile coffee, so it says here you can make you know regular drip coffee with it, or you can make your espresso and your cappuccinos with it also. So it, it's not in any little pods or anything like that. Nope. You need a real machine. To make it. <laughs> uh, but there you go, and it's in uh, it's in English on one side, and Spanish on the other. That's right. And we have had people for years asking for it, so yeah. come and get it and enjoy it. I'm going to make. I'm going to make. Coffee. We're going to have some people over that make that don't like my coffee, so mm. I'm going to be using that. Yeah, it's a very strong coffee. Yes. Okay, so it's because it is a, a, a an espresso roast, mm. but enjoy it in a bright yellow can. You can't miss it. You cannot miss it. And I've got I've got my little espresso maker, so I can do that as well. Yeah. And uh, I'm looking forward to trying it. Yeah, you can use it on a plunger. You can use it in your drip. You got the espresso maker that goes upside down? No, no I don't have. Or the that. one that perks up. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. She's got to open it up I'm now. Do it. Watch this. Listen. Listen. Oh, there it goes. Mm. Ooh. Oh, I used to love that. Yeah, I do too. That's the best smell. Mm. It almost smells good as a, as a $5 cigar. You're not going to eat it. Oh. <laughs> mistletoe. Mm. No, no, it's not mistletoe. (laughs) That's the Cafe Bustelo. Yes. Okay, so now we're going to go to our Ripper Recipe Roundup. (laughs) So this is uh, taken from the seven national holidays that are coming up, uh, seven days. uh, Every day in in the world has a different... Yep. Flavor or what they want to promote. So you're picking one day, which is National Pie Day. That is correct. And I got a very similar one, which is National Cookie Day. There we go. And we were talking about sometimes these weeks we go, didn't we just do stuff like like so? They overlap a lot. They overlap. So, but this one, what I decided to do is that is okay if I go first? Yeah. Um, this is I'm doing pie crust. Hmm. because that'll let you do whatever pie you want. Because I know we've covered a few. So this is my... Good. i got to give this to Jeanette. She's battling with the frozen pie crust that's all cracked. And I said, well, just... This is... This goes back to the great um, pie crust debacle of like 2012. Oh, right? wasn't that long. Oh, well, no. 1912 would have been interesting. <laughs> I had... Like I had my Crisco recipe. Yeah. Didn't work. I had another recipe... Didn't work. It oh. might have been the weather because it's hot and muggy today. So mm-hmm. it could have been, or you know, this time of year. So it could be similar. And I also, um, so then I ran down to USA Foods, got some pie crust mixes. I was cursed. I couldn't do them. They usually work really well. Right. No luck. So I looked up and I found this all butter recipe. Mm-hmm. It's, um, I found it through Martha Stewart, but it's um, just a simple French recipe pastry and you need it works if you have a thermomix or a food processor it's really quick if right. not you can still just cut it and use it and you need um one and one quarter cups flour plain flour uh half teaspoon of salt i put a half teaspoon of sugar you can put more if you want um a stick of butter so 250 grams of butter what you do is you go to the store buy it chop it up yeah and put it in the freezer so it's icy cold and then do everything else um and then you need between a quarter and a half a cup of iced water so i set that aside Mm -hmm. and so you stick everything but the water in it and just you can buzz it a few times and that'll get it like sand yep and then you just pour some of the water about half the water in it first as it's running it all comes together because either to like little peas right and then you just squish it together perfect Every time it has never failed me. 
There you go. Bob's your uncle. See, I'm not a pastry eater yeah. or I don't do sweets and stuff. Mm-hmm. You, know, you know that I do like savory things. And so I'm more of a, like for National Cookie Day, mm-hmm. I'm more of a cookie eater. Yes. So well. I had to go to Jeanette because she does the, the sweets. She, she does really good. She sweets. does beautiful sweets. And she came up and she found this recipe for Spumoni chocolate chip cookies. Yes. So Spumoni is ice cream. And, mm-hmm. and, and anybody read anything about New York, there's Spumoni Gardens in yep. Brooklyn. It's, it's, you know, it goes way back there. So it's pistachio, cherry, and like an almond taste. To, and it's three different flavors, yep. like a Neapolitan, but done with those flavors. And it's it. done in a little, sort of like a, um, uh, an, you know how you cut an apple? To, and that's mm-hmm. the wedge that you get of the ice yes. cream with all the flavors on it. Yes. No, it's really good. So on this recipe, so this is an Italian inspired recipe. And so what they do is with the pistachio, using pistachio jello. Yes. And that was, maraschino yep. cherries. So that's, that's where you're getting your flavor. So the ingredients call for two and a half cups of all purpose flour, mm-hmm. uh, a teaspoon of baking soda, cup of butter softened. Yep. And a quarter cup of white sugar, three quarter cups of brown sugar. One package of uh, the Jello pistachio pudding, the instant. Yum. Two eggs. You don't have to separate them. Keep them together. Okay. <laughs> uh, she has here one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Okay. Uh, and a half a teaspoon. This is come from you. Tell her mm. to put a little half a teaspoon of the cherry juice into it. Yeah. To give it a little more bounce. Quarter bag or one 12-ounce bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips. Half a cup of chopped maraschino cherries. And half a, a quarter cup of chopped pistachios. So then you just do your baking with them. You mix them all together. It goes into a 350 degrees or 175 degree Celsius oven. Uh, you cream your butter and all that together. It goes on and on. You know how to make yeah, yeah. cookies, Just make right? cookies the usual way. Yeah, make cookies the usual way. Bake them, take them out, and they're really, really good. And I can tell you they're good because I happen to taste a few. So if you want to find it, it's on a uh, website called allrecipes.com. Mm-hmm. So it's on that website. So look it up while you're thinking about it. And you can find this Spumoni recipe. And it's really good. She made them like three times because everybody, I've taken them to work and everybody loves them. Yes, I can attest. Mm-hmm. You'll just have to apologize for you for your Chernobyl style Geiger candle that has been through the microphone that whole segment. What well, didn't work? No, I'm just getting this. Your phone. Oh, my phone. My, <laughs> my, my, my Geiger gun. Yes, yeah, so. It sounds like watching Chernobyl. Again. This is a high, a high wire. I mean, <laughs> and whatever I say goes to China. <laughs> Maybe it's time to update, Phil. Yeah, yeah. pretty soon you're going to be seeing Spumoni cookies coming out of China. Out of China. <laughs> That's right. It's the new thing. <laughs> you, you are shocking. Okay. All right. So, and you know, like on my car, I have a, a fob, which is like a, your uh, a keyless. Yeah. If that's in my pocket next to it, the doors don't open. Oh. Yeah. Place. It bla- it, Yeah. It. That like. Oh, is that, the phone's in your pocket. The phone's in my pocket next to the, the What's fob. What's the radiation doing to your bones exactly. when it's in your pocket? <laughs> I don't know. I'm yeah. thinking that you might want to think uh, about it's, updating. It's pretty good because I can see in the dark now. You know, things are glowing. You know. <laughs> 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 It's, it's pretty good when I want to find my seat to the uh, the theater. Yeah, you know? it's right there. <laughs> but Jeanette needs to find you in the I'm house not, in the dark. She can just see you glowing. I'm from not going to say which part glows the most. But uh, <laughs> oh my god, that was a George Collin thing. You know that? <laughs> That's where I'm getting that from. I, I'm pretty sure it was George Collin or I don't or Chris that. Rush. I'm thinking it might be Rush because yeah. I don't immediately. Not that I know all of Carlin, but yeah. I think no a lot. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, so it yeah it doesn't just blanks everything out. Cancels the technology. Yeah. So soon Phil will just be flying here next week. <laughs> yeah. He won't need the car. Yeah. Need All those. right. So where are we now? All so right. Next week. Three point seven. Next week we're <laughs> going to talk about cookouts and travel foods. Yes. Mm. Oh gosh. Yep. <laughs> That's right. Because the weather's nicer. We can go outside. We can cook. We can have a little snacks. As we're driving around, my mother gets the gallon size Ziploc bag and fills it with treats. Yep. And make sure that, you know, you have to have things that just don't go all over the place. That's right. Yeah. Or melt on or the, melt. the yeah. upholstery oh. on your car. Okay. Oh, so we'll put some thought into that. Yeah. Well, then we might should also incorporate into that how to clean up certain, like those fills. <laughs> yes, we could do that. And we can put those things in the clean freak. 
yeah. basket. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so we'll do the sign off. Yes. So from Chevy Chase. In Christmas Vacation. Yeah. Aunt Bethany. This is what he's saying. Aunt Bethany, by any chance, does your caddy jello? <laughs> 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 and if you don't know that, go watch the movie. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to get some Jello given to my cat. You'll probably play with. Yeah. Put the friskies in it. Yeah. Mean you're wrapping the damn box. Yes. <laughs> All right. Till next week. Yes. Adios. See you. There you go. Okay. <laughs>